And as we were driving away from the hospital, I was telling him, there's no way that I can work tonight, especially with having an injury in that region and then having to use that region to work. It was just not going to, it was not going to work out. He was yelling and screaming. At one point he backhanded me. And when he hit me, his pinky ring actually cut my eyeball open. He hit me so hard <laughs> on the left side of my face that the right side of my nose started bleeding. So I'm sitting there now, my eyes cut open, my nose is bleeding, there's just, I, it's pouring out. And he pulls up to a corner and he throws my duffel bag out of the car and he hands me $7 and he says, get yourself some food before you make my money. So I took that $7 and I walked into the train station to change my clothes and I hopped on a train to Manhattan. I think I was just done. I really thought that the whole three years that we had been through at that point, that he would have respected me enough to not make me go out and work after kidney stone removal. <laughs> like it just, that wasn't the case though. He didn't, he didn't respect me. He didn't care for me. He didn't love me. Like he said he did not, not when it was standing in the way of his money. I think I figured it up. Um, I was trafficked in 14 States. I had well over 500 sexual partners, bruises, busted lips, 16 staples, multiple bones broken. I paid my pimp over $500,000 and I left with nothing. That's insane. <laughs>